what's up guys? Okay, I just received an email from an old school fitness subscriber named Josh. So Josh, if you're watching this, thanks for writing in, buddy. Alright, Josh is asking me, he's always heard that the human body can only process, digest, and absorb about 20 to 40 grams of protein in a single meal, and the rest goes to waste. If that's true, that would mean most people need to eat a higher number of meals per day in order to meet their total protein requirements. And he wanted to know if this is actually true. Yeah, Josh, I've always heard the same thing. Uh, every time I've heard it, my BS meter went off, and for good reason. So if you do the math, six meals per day for an average-sized person shooting for the standard one gram of protein per pound of body weight recommendation would end up eating about 20 to 40 grams of protein per meal. That's an idea the supplement companies love you to believe. It's no coincidence this the typical serving of a protein powder contains about 20 to 40 grams of protein per scoop. So like a lot of other fitness myths, if an idea is pushed by the supplement companies to pay advertising dollars to be in publications and magazines, it eventually becomes a universally accepted fact. But it doesn't make it true. Alright, so then what happens if you eat more than 30 grams of protein at once? You know, as crazy as it sounds, the more protein you eat at one time, the longer it'll take for your body to absorb it. That's it. Nothing goes to waste. All the protein you take in will still get absorbed just over a longer period of time. There have been numerous studies conducted proving this, and no studies I ever heard of has disproved this claim. Now, for you guys who don't believe me, I'll leave a link in the description of some of these studies. Now, I'm sure most of you all have heard of intermittent fasting, where you consume all your food within a certain window of time, be it four to eight hours. This has been proven time and again to be just as beneficial, if not more beneficial, than eating six meals per day. So the thing is, Josh, don't worry about when you eat. Be more concerned about what you eat. Make sure you're getting the proper calories and macros for your body type, activity, and your goals. If you like eating six meals per day and it's convenient for you, then do it. If you like intermittent fasting, then do that. If you're like me and basically eat three meals a day, then go for it. The idea is don't overcomplicate things. Hit the weights hard and keep it old school. I'll talk to you next week. <laughs>